Welcome back everyone, it's Tess here. Okay, it is time for... It's 5am. Okay. That bell. What's going on with the bell? Let's go have a look. Where is it? I can't hear it anymore. It stopped ringing. Is that... Is that a bell? Ah. Though I find some anim assembling animal bones to be quite morbid. Um... Okay. So does he ring the bell or not? Hmm. Okay. Hey. Hello, crows. Right, well, my spirit tea still hasn't rejuvenated. Let's see. Um, so I was hoping that, like, it would recover or something, but let's see, I might not be looking in the right spot, or it might be the wrong time of day, um, I might have to be careful about when I look for them, they might only set, come out certain times a day, um, now, where did I think? think. Okay, I can't find anyone there. Let's have, hello. Call your family often. Give your family a call, Tess. Okay. Um, coffee shop. in here. Oh, the ice cream shop's come pulling up. Hey, Push. Yeah, you're cute, Push. I was robbed in New Genevieve. It's probably been the, it's probably the most scary I've ever been in my life. But I won't let it stop me from seeing more of the world. Mm-hmm. You go, girl. Oh, hey, Grams. Um, if you can make it all the way to the top, you can find a huge old building. I know the lady that used to live in your house liked to go up there a lot. Cool. Right. Drink vending machine, it's broken though. No one can see that. Miss <laughs> Renee, if I can pick it up, I'll pick it up. <laughs> what the? Hans. Okay. They don't say anything. There's nothing like sleeping in the freshly washed sheets. Oh, I do agree with that. I definitely agree with that. How can I help you today? Um, a 
find a cat hop, piano, chicken, sugar, buck trap. Wow, there's a lot of things there. I really want money. Urgh. I just don't know how to find these spirits. Okay. Oh, there's some more things here to collect. And I've already got a lot of things in my bag, but... Beautiful. I'm not going to say no. I'm just waiting for the ability to be able to... Um, bucket lid, building blocks bucket, houseplant, thorn fruit. Let's put those away. Now the house plants I'm going to try and put in my house. Okay. Let's put one here. So that when they come and visit, they'll notice this beautiful plant that should be in their shop. <laughs> But hey, it's just there for the taking. It was. Um, actually, let's put this one in here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Exit, deposit, and let's put that in there. And. If they don't stack. Okay. And exit out of there. Okay, can we have a shower? Go to the toilet, go to the bath. Yes. Oh, that's good. That feels so good. Is that doing anything? Uh, I guess so. Can I shut the door again? Thank you. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. I've got no tea leaves. I want some tea leaves. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, the cooking screen. I don't have any recipes though. Melissa, if you have access to the items in your backpack, your storage trunk, and your fridge. On the right side, that's the wrong way around. On the right side, you can find all the recipes you've discovered so far. The center shows the ingredients you've selected and the cooking method. To select the ingredients, Okay, use E to remove an ingredient. Simply move the cursor, move to the center and select. Okay, that about covers it. You can give cooked dishes to spirits while they are bathing to increase their happiness, but remember you need to first find the recipe for the dish. Okay, right, we're not there yet. Oh, <gasps> we went through the back. Okay, so it's morning now. Um, okay, um, so I'm at Let's just try all the shops again. We'll see if we can find. I might be going to the wrong shops, so I just have to look through them all. I don't. I can't remember. Oh, what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be labelled as a thief if I keep doing this. <laughs> Okay, I'm running. 
Okay. Um, yeah, there's got to be, there's got to be something that I'm not, not doing right. Oh, here. Oh. There we go. The ancient teapot in your house infuses regular tea with spiritual properties. Use enter to peer into the spiritual realm. Okay. There. Okay. Now then, let's find the spirit. I can see two spirits. Hello, spirits. What are you two doing? No, not that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Ooh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this model. They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Jeez it. <laughs> <That's funny. gasps> what? What? What in the world? Don't stand there. Catch them. I'll, um, I'll use that little, what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally, spirit using spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, one is helping you by preventing the gauge from depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea, tea made in the old teapot, and sleeping will replenish the spirit gauge. Oh, let's see. Okay, where's the little car? Go little car, go little car! Chase, chase, chase! Whoa! The spirit is super quick. Try running and catch them. Remember to use... Okay. Interrupting when you're close enough. Okay. Um, where's it gone? Oh, there it is! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, goodness! They're being super tricky. And then I've got to... Wow! Oh, you little turds. They went over the cliff. There we go. Oh, that is so funny. Pretty funny. Like, chasing... It's, it's the police car chase. Ah, wrong way. twice. There we go. <laughs> well, who? One yarn. And which one of you peanut brains is the key to the bath? Key? The key? I remember. One yarn and a key. Oh, One of your best. <laughs> oh, cool. They're running back. I have the key. I remember I now called Feather Frog, and and I was known as or, um Oh, that's cool. Onion, I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was, and but I never forgot what task for me. I have kept the key safe all these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the bars. Yay! Finally, oh, worked out. Well, because I didn't look in the proper proper shop. You're holding it up like that. I can't. I can't have her act normal for a moment. <laughs> As for you two, this model here named Tess, correct, has agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, Wanyanza will be there with friends. With friends, of course, are. Oh, gods be damned, those fools gave us a run around, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. You're ready. Let's um, head to that bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. Oh my goodness, that took a little bit. Okay. Um, that was just me running around because I was being silly and not reading the map properly. Let's go to the top of the bathhouse and have a check out what we're going to do. Uh -huh. Yay, let's go. 
up in the bathhouse and see what we can do. Oh my lord. What a mess. Oh yes, this brings back memories. She is a mess. You have no idea how important this place is to us. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they're up to no good, and unfortunately, it's the town folk who are suffering for it. Right, so with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. Okay. Can we clean the place up, please? Look at all that dust and spiderwebs. Okay, what's up, sir? The bath. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. So, what am I meant to do, Wanyan? Oh, do I have to enter spirit site? No. Could use a little direction. What am I meant to be doing? Aha! Can do I? Can I clean? Um. Ah, oh, there we go. I was just at the wrong spot <laughs> for spirits. Ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known my spirits can't be can be seen here, but it likely has to do some something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of this structure over time. The trees grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Yeah, anyway. Enough of the history lesson. You're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide your essentially um, essentially customers to their spots in the bath. Spirits will pay you depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including following me. Okay. Um, let's put this back because I have a feeling I'll have to use it in a moment. Um, let's put it... There we go. Okay, let's go back and follow one yard. And this time I'll get close enough so that I can actually talk to him. Including water temperature. This is the boiler for all of the bars in the room. Above us, you'll have to keep this thing burning so the bars can stay hot. Your source of fuel? This baby right here. Cut out a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold E when facing the saw to cut. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, tree. The tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this, but bath housekeepers have cut this same root over and over for centuries. And this is just a hunch, but it seems to like it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Um, any? Uh, yeah. One thing to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we track down and keep um, smack, and smack some sense into, the more healthy this spirit tree becomes, which means more roots regrowing and therefore more mulags. If you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you've slept or something. Yeah, anyway. Throw that log and one more into the boiler and then come meet me upstairs. Yoki dok. So grab one more. I really want to clean up the place. It's it's niggling. It's niggling. Okay. That's regrowing. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions with your work ethic and my brains. We can have this place up and running in no time. And making lots and lots of mulags. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Do you see this shrine here? It shows the bath temperature. If you see the temperature dropping, then you'd better head to the boiler 
and load up some more. Good, now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first you need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let spirits use. <gasps> spirits need towels? Spirits need, of course they need towels. What kind of shabby, shoddy bathhouse are you planning on running here? Come on, let's see if there are any towels still in. Still, if we're lucky, they won't be too mouldy. <laughs> so, how do you tell when that's cool? When he stops snorting? <laughs> um. Check that towel box for dirty used towels. Dirty used towels. When spirits are done with their bath their baths, they will leave the towel in the box on their way out the door. As you might have guessed, use you are facing the towel bin to check the towels. Good, there are some towels left. Let's go get them cleaned up this way. I've got like a pile of towels. Where are we off to? Ah, uh, really, really, I want to clean, I want to clean. Okay, where am I going, Milag? Oh, Milag. Um, where am I going? Welcome to the washing, our uh, kitchen, I suppose. We never did come up with a name for it. Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and the heating vents. Throw the used towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub, holding down E. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. Um, oh, that one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Mm, yeah, excellent. Now take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, then the towels won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Okay, let's um, put them one, two, three, four. Aha! So it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keep the boiler hot, cleaning the towels, cooking for spirits. When you've hired someone to clean up this area up, scrubbing spirits with a brush all of these things will affect a spirit's happiness and therefore affect how many more lags they'll be leave you in thanks piece of cake right 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 <laughs> oh come on a little hard work is good for you builds character right let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance i mean you you bring the towels sure boss Let's keep going though. One, two, three, four. I think there's a few more as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, thank you. Okay, let's drive here. There we go. Let's run to the entrance. <laughs> this is pretty cute. Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them, drop them over on this green bamboo mat. Um, it, it doesn't look very green. When spirits visit the glass house, they'll automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. Alright, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up to spirits. Okay, we're going to end part one of episode four here. I'm making this a two-part episode because it is super long. So um, we're going to end this episode here and we'll catch you in part two next. Thanks for watching. Bye.